It's finals time here at the Pacifica Youth Cup here in Pukekohe, Navigation Home Stadium. And our first game of the final day of such an epic tournament, Nui and Tokelau in the men's championship side of the draw. We've seen these two teams play up against each other already yesterday with Tokelau taking the win 20 to four. But today, well, it's a final and it means that little bit more as we see the families, the friends in support waving flags and singing. The two teams enter the field with me in commentary, Willie Porching. Willie, what do you see as a deciding factor in this big match? Yeah, good morning. Yeah, big, big stakes ahead and a lot to play for for these guys. And as you said, it's uh, a repeat of yesterday's game when they played against each other. They learned a, look, a little bit about each other. The turning point, I thought, yesterday was the sin binning of uh, Austin Cochran Makalena, the loose forward, and it was so influential for Nui. But the game, the ascendancy of the game, just went took Tukalau's way when they were down to 12 men, Nui. They can ill afford to do that again. Their discipline will be important because they know what, an, uh, what a champion side they're up against in the Tukalau. Our officials... For today's matchup, the referee Jack Fevers and his assistants Ipiha Murukiti and Lao Pauvali. Is teamless. Shown Tokelau. Uh, Jonathan Solomon. He's certainly a player to look out for from fullback in there. Big forwards Kaiva Tulimanu and Joseph Pereira. Look out for hooker Sams Yosua. He has been a real spark of energy for this Tokelau side throughout the tournament and for Nui. Well, the impressive Cooper Nomotu and Liam Hikingatoa in the halves are two to look out for. And head coach Blake Yu. There's <laughs> Solomona kicks us off, and we begin our final day of action here at the Pacifica Youth Cup. Taking on Tukalau, Tukalau. And defense in the yellow, and Nui in the blue. And it's Nui They're making some early inroads here. And a nice drop off, but ball loose and dived on by Tukalau. Alam Fungali, Fungali, doing well there. And into the hands of Tulimanu. And these players are in unfamiliar territory as far as the conditions. It's been really dry and hot the last four days. There's been a, been a bit of rain overnight. And now it's dewy, it's wet. We've got to quickly come to terms with those conditions and how to handle them. Could be a deciding factor across all the games in this tournament as Tukalau break away. 
over the line, nearly just stopped short. Lovely work here from Tukalau in their first real position of the game. Lafayelli there going close to Solomona, hands it off to Tulimanu. Tulimanu changing direction, offloading to Yosua, back to Solomona, flinging it wide, and there's space there, and in the corner, Zephan Peter Lafayelli scores the first try for Tugalau. It was Sifata Isi that made the inroads and put the indentation in the defence of New Way. It was his run where he went really close. And credit to the fullback, Joseph Talisa, for New Way for doing enough to stop him. But it was that man, as you said, the big front rower, Kaiva Tulimanu, who had the carry and the offload. They spotted the opportunity out on the left hand side. And a well taken try early doors. Punishing New Way for that early knock on, for that early error in possession of the ball. As I said, both teams will have to come to terms quickly. Looks like Tukalau will come to terms a little bit quicker than their opposition. Zivan Peter Lafayelli from St. Paul's College in Auckland in the Richmond Rovers Club. Scoring the first try for Tukalau off the back of their first attack of the game. That's an efficient way to begin things for Tukalau. away from Jonathan Solomona. But a lovely start for Tukalau. They'll feel confident today, as I said, they have beaten Nui already at this tournament. But they've also had very competitive battles in other matches. They went very close against Fiji, losing by just two. the Tonga development but were competitive in that match as well so Pereira now on another hit up number 8 and number 10 Tukalau have been their go to options in the carry Tiesi yeah a good start for him a real good start obviously I mentioned he made that break early on going close getting himself around the ball keeping himself busy just like UA when they were working themselves out from their end off the kickoff. Tukalau come up with an error in a bad position. I think it was Tulemalu, Tulemanu, just trying to offload the ball in an almost impossible situation as he was dying to the ground. Just needed to think better of it and hold, hold the pill. Kaiva Tulemanu, one of the key players in this Tukalau side. Despite his youth, he's just 16 years old. And he recently turned 16 in, in Westlake College. The big prop has been very good for Tukalau on that occasion, a mistake. And Nui will have possession. Taking up the middle. Sent backwards, Poematangi Matautia. Now, you Miss Yipo. In the short defense of Tulimanu and Pereira. Cochrane Makalena. Pizza defender. Good hit up here. Makatoa. So it's final play here for Nui. It's a kick high in between the posts. It's gone dead. You can see what he was trying to do. He's trying to put it up for his teammates to contest, but he just put it too deep, too far away from the chasers. You took it out. We were never troubled. The fullback, Jonathan Solomon, are happy to let the ball bounce, knowing that it was going to go dead. 
not the end of the world for New Eight. Just need to roll their sleeves up, get into their defensive work here. A good carry from four, four. And you saw handing it back. To Lafayelli. And a good set already here. For Tokalau. Great meters. They've gone at least 50 now. Off the back of the carry from Tiu Martini and Solomona. Ever dangerous to Fa'avai. One more, the pass to Fungali. Now Senefili, Senefili committing tacklers with his direct running. You saw a beautiful floated ball over the top, nearly dropped, but sure hands from Peter Lafaele ensures they will score their second try and his second try. Talk aloud now, 8 to 0. And you mentioned his name at the top of the show and top of the game when we introduced the teams. Sam Josua hasn't had many opportunities yet in the game, partially because of the great defence from Nuez, slowing down the ruck enough that he's got no opportunities to run. But when he does, he just gets out, assesses the situation. A great long ball out to Peter Lafayette. And another try for Tokelau. Great play, great spot from Sam Josua. He's at a great tournament. He's carrying on that form today. Well taken try after defending their end. Poor kick from Newway going dead. Tukalau able to roll them roll themselves all the way up the field and come away with another four pointer. Peter Lafaelli, two tries now in the match. Young man from St. Paul's College in Auckland. Fantastic start for him and for this Tokelau side. Just two positions on attack. Minus one error from Tulimano. Two tries. And Peter Lafaele. Extremely successful. Solomona, the conversion. It's away. And it's 8 to 0. Tugelau in front. We spoke about Tugelau and how close they were in a couple of their games. And unfortunate not to get Fiji on, on day two. And Fiji got a couple of intercepts, got an intercept and went 90 metres. Attempted a 40 20. And their winger, Serawalu, was first to the bounce and beat them to the punch in a game that I thought Tugelau were probably the better of it. But they haven't lost their confidence and they've grown. And their competitive nature in their games hasn't changed at all. Actually winning yesterday has done the confidence of the world of good. Right. Lifting their intensity in defence and meeting Pereira there. They need a big set here to repel this Tokelau side. That has certainly built momentum here in the first 10 minutes of this consolation final. the championship draw. Fiji will play Tonga Development in the championship final. Tokelau attacking. Some lovely footwork here from Solomona. Jonathan Solomona threatening with ball in hand. The young fullback, Yosua Fa'avai, kicking on the fourth. Goes down, Inoue. It's a good chase line from Tokelau. A very good set and a very good chase line, as you said. Kick into the corner. Try and pin them in here as far as they can. Sam Josua. Eagerness with the ball and eagerness on defence. Lovely defensive work there too. Martini and Tulimanu together. Driving them backwards. Anyway, need a break. Ball carrying. Needs to go to another level. If they're going to break open... Let's talk a last side. A penalty. Maybe the small reinforcement they need. Just some field position. I've been really impressed for Newey with Shaza Tangakau and Caleb Aki. Caleb Aki was very good yesterday coming off the bench. 
and had a real big impact in trying to swing the game back for Newey against Tukalau. He's got a start today, and his workload is just the same, and uh, Newey just couldn't find touch. Well, kept in field there by Tukalau. We've seen it on a couple of occasions in this tournament when kicks, when the kicker for, on penalties hasn't quite got the purchase and it's dribbled out, but the winger has been asleep and just assuming that the ball will go out. Great work by, by Zion Savaka, the winger for took it out. He was aware to it, stayed alive, and because the ball was short, he got to tap it back in and get position for his team. Four, four. Net in defence by Tangiko. Cochran, Kalina, Perete on the carry. You saw now Lafayette. Well taken there, Kalisa Fanue, striding forward and taking the high kick. Great take by Joseph Talisa. Pressure around him, got airborne, took it cleanly, took it well, and nice play from Tukilau. Just rolling through their sets. Happy to kick. New way to turn them around and get and play from deep. A couple of nice the carries there. Tristan Nualona and Ulamali engaging the line. New way just seeming to pick up. Rolling on some subs and some energy coming on. That's Dela Mefaitala off the bench for his first carry. And as you said, carrying strong on the back of some of his teammates doing likewise. Here, a two-time try scorer, Peter Lafaelli, with the ball. And both teams completing their sets, putting their opposition in the corner. Nice little arm wrestle here, and that's a win. That's a win for Newey, forcing the error. And secret for them is to stay with us. You know, they're carrying strong, and they have carried strong. They did right from the start. That first set, when Tungiko and Aki carried off the kickoff, unfortunately they knocked the ball on on the plays after, but they've got to keep that energy to carry, keep that enthusiasm, that intent to run through the opposition. And if they can keep doing this to get to their kicks, these rewards will come. Anyway, some promising signs. That last set, a good one that pinned Tokelau deep in their territory. And now Talisa stepping. Can they build on the continuity of that? Hitting it up. Cochran. Cochran for the line. He's over. Boston Cochran. Makalina scoring for Nui. What a try. Just the second tackle in the set. And aren't they happy about it? And so they should be. It's a well-worked try, and as I said, reward for getting through their sets, turning their attack into D, and then forcing an error. They get position, they run the play off the scrum, and it goes to Talisa, who had some nice footwork, putting defenders off, and the late movement from Cochran Makalena to go down the short side, catching defenders off guard, but came on to the ball, the full head of steam, Great try. He's been fantastic for them this tournament. Boston, Cochrane Makalena for New A, the number 13. And a well deserved try. It was an ambitious play, wasn't it? To go two passes wide from the scrum, hit their fullback, Talesa, his footwork, and then Cochrane Makalena coming in with speed down that short side. And testing the, the defenders and whether they're adjusting off the scrum and saw that they weren't quite set. And the late read and eagerness. Joseph Talisa adds the extras and it's eight to six. Boston, Cochrane, Makalena with the first try. For Nui, the young man from Westlake and playing for the Otara Scorpions Club. 
took on the defence and won that battle, went over the line to score and bring Nui back into the match. Huge play there from Boston, Cochrane, Makalena. I'm talking about an arm wrestle, I mentioned arm wrestle. And for some of our novice viewers may be asking what the arm wrestle is. An arm wrestle is when you're going set for set with your opposition and you're getting, both teams are getting to the end of their sets, kicking, and you're playing the field position game and you're playing it to try and wear the opposition down and try and force, and it's the first one that comes up with the error and find the win, and that's what happened for New York. They went set for set, they kicked it to the corner, got the error, got the rewards, and not that you guarantee to try every time, but you're putting that pressure on the opposition, and that's what they've got to do. Dalamir Faitala on the initial carry, on the few players in this New York side, to come over from New York. Attends New York High School, Dalamir Faitala, So Nui, after conceding two early tries, have scored a converted try of their own, and it's eight to six. You can see they've learnt from that last set, kicking on play four, happy to turn them around. Got their big fellas, look at Tui on that occasion, on that set, carrying, fighting, disrupting the D. They've got to put that effort into their defence now, Nui. Zion Savaka taking the carry. Now TSC. Good running line. Yeah, over from Fungali and Yosua from dummy half. Ever present threat that of Sams Yosua. Into the hands of Fa'avai. This is a high hovering kick. Just too deep and smart play from the winger, Gabriel Poimatangi Matotia. Realised he was in the end goal, caught it on the fall. He got, his, got his team with a seven tackle set. But interesting, he's picking his moments now and seeing there's some fatigue in the opposition. Sam Josua picking moments to run. He ran once, set up a try. That's his first run in open play. Expect some more of that. A couple of nice carries to begin the set from the wingers. Kutama and Poimatangi Matautia. Now up and going again is Olamali'i. So Nui have found their feet very much so in this match. It's into the hands of their big man, Dalamir Faitala. And he's done brilliantly. A big hit up there from Dalamir Faitala. Out wide, Talisa. Yeah, it's fair to say that the momentum is well and truly with New at the moment. Full of running, full of beans. Had a lot of energy from Tukalau's defence. Lovely hands, out wide, spinning in the tackle. And over the line, Phoenix Makatoa and New take the lead. And well done, New Punishing the opposition for a poor kick in the corner. Had seven tackles up their sleeve and used every single one of them to their benefit. Carrying strong. A couple of carries on the right hand side. And when they come back to the left, it's Phoenix Makatoa who gleefully takes acceptance of the ball, spins out of a couple of tackles, a couple of defenders over reading. Spins out, finds himself a four-pointer. Following on the back of his captain and loose forward, Boston Cochran Makalena, the back row is doing a fine job for New Air. Great try. There's a threat posed by Boston Cochran Makalena on that occasion. Just that lateral run of his that committed defenders and then dropping off the pass to Makatoa. Both players have been very dangerous as New Air have taken the lead. What a surge from this side. Their bench, their interchange have been impactful. Just as uh, they were yesterday, they used their bench really well. And they understand their role coming off the bench to have that impact, as you're saying, to keep that lift. The starters did a good job. 
as I mentioned, Kayla Bucky and Tangako did a good job to lay the platform. Took some of the sting out for the likes of Lukatui to come on and do some damage when they are doing. And another lovely conversion from Joseph Talisa. And Zanue are out to a four point lead, 12 to eight here. You have to say, Togolau, they're stunned. They do look a bit stunned at the moment. They, had, they haven't finished their sets as well as they would have liked. They've come up with an error and then back that next set up with a kick. They got caught in goal. And they were doing a really good job at the start of the game, as I mentioned. Just placing the ball in the corners and being happy for the position winger to tackle, to take the ball, but then tackle and pin them down there and try and create themselves a form of arm wrestle, but we'll go back to the arm wrestle that we did have, and UA won it. Got the advantage, they've not given that advantage back since. Cockroft down to Cochran Makalena, and he sends himself with blatant disregard for his body into the defence. He's been good today, the captain, Boston, Cochran Makalena. Yeah, he's been good today, and he's been good over the last four days for them. He had a bit of a blemish being Sinbin yesterday, and knew he had to make up to his team today, doing a great job of doing that. Lokotui on the carry, a nice drop-off pass to him from Momotu. And now Talisa stepping. The footwork of the young man prominent as he gains some good metres, the fullback. Poi Viviani now from dummy half. And Nui, another very good set here. As they venture over the 30. On the final now, it's picking out to what? He drops the kick off to Savaka of Tokelau. And the big men for New AR are doing a good job. Take nothing away from Lukatui and Cochrane Makalena for the job they're doing in the middle and when they're carrying, carrying strong. But their outside backs are having an impact on their carries too. It was Talisa who came in, used his footwork, beat a couple of defenders and allowed Poi Viviani to get out and find another 10, 15 metres. Pinning Tukalau deep. Tukalau's job now, as I mentioned, they've got to try and finish in a positive way. Lovely tackle on Baden Amani. Victor Ikatuli for Nui. So they're going from strength to strength, this Nui side. Down 8 to 0 early in this match. They've responded with vigour and now lead 12 to 8. Olamali with the ball. And he's evading defenders with ease. The young man. His Nui again will start their set inside their territory, inside the 40, but some good carries coming in. Lurching them forward, and a penalty against Tokelau. And that was Tristan Nualona with a big fin run, fighting hard. And as you said, the outside backs doing a great job. Christian Olomali'i, Dangerous on the kick return. Too fast for some of the chases of the, of the Tukalau inside. A lot better than they were yesterday, especially in the, up, the outside back department you had today. Meet up, meet up, meet up. Yes. Sekatuli, who made the good tackle on defence in the last set. He takes the first carry. Kalangi onto the field and he wins a penalty. Penalty Simbin. stacking up against Tokelau. Simbin for a shoulder charge, I think. It's a Rereti. Sam Rereti. And 16 who'll leave the field. So it goes from bad to worse for Tokelau, but Nui. And it does go bad to worse. And if it goes like it did yesterday, and there were a couple of games where there were Simbins, and in a game where it's half an hour and a half. 10 minutes is a long time to be down to 12 men. 
as I said, Newway lost Cochrane Makalena for 10 minutes and the game turned on its head. This could be the case here for Tokelau, but not if Newway keep coming up with these types of errors. Their first error for a little while. Lokatui forcing the offload and Poi Viviani just couldn't keep his hands on it. It was a low ball. So frustrating for Nui. They've certainly got the advantage and they'll want to seize it as they go into the break. Just four points up. They can extend this lead. They've got the advantage at the moment of momentum. It's all going their way, but they've got the advantage of numbers, obviously. And just show some patience to keep building away. As for Tokelau, they'll be happy for the clock to tick down, slow things down until they get back to 13 men. They realise they don't have to try and score, but defence is the important thing, and they keep the opposition out for as long as they can, especially while they're down to 12 men. Savaka with a good carry. Rousseau looking around. Raffaele, and then Namir, who knocks the ball on and gives possession back to Nui. So with two and a half left, they will have another opportunity to attack. Yeah, you saw Namir with the carry. Loose in contact. You've got to be smart in how you lean your body, lean away from the ball to protect it. And being smart in how you go to ground. You look like more... Uh, contact with the ground that knocked the ball out but either way you've got to protect it I said yesterday it's your responsibility as the ball carrier to do that good tackle there Fungali and Fatavai combining in defence and Fungali again Alan Fungali two good tackles Defence needs to step up for Tokelau, and so far it's doing so. They will not want to concede a try before half time, and that's the consolation final of the championship. Out wide to Ikatuli, the winger who loses his feet in Tokotama. Tisala, Talisa, Talangi. The final play, and it's a kick in behind that sits up nicely for Peter Lafayette. And he's dragged into touch. And I like the kick from Nui. It gave their chasers an opportunity, and I thought Gabriel Puamatangi Matotia was going to get it for a second. But when it popped up into Savan, Peter Lafayette's hands, there was a moment when he thought. He was going to go all the way, but Newey thought better of it, dragging Justin him into touch. Noah Lorna with the good work there in defence, knowing he had the advantage of the wet ground. He could slide the attacking player over the touchline with. And now 20 seconds left. Can Newey score another try before half time? If any man can, it's Boston Cochran Makalena. One more play. One more play. Out wide, floating ball. And uh, the hands of Peter Lafayette, who's got speed. He's being chased. He's got the big man chasing him. Great work from Nui to fight back and stop Peter Lafayette from getting his hat trick. What speed shown by Alpha Lokotui, the big man in 15, to race back and stop the winger, Zephan Peter Lafayette. And half time here in a tight contest sees Nui lead Tokelau by 12 to 8.
It's an absolute feast. At Pertech, we understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up, running and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Using only world-class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertech from the pack. Pertech will keep you operating. Pacifica Youth Cup and it's Nui's time now. Here they lead over Tukalau 12 to 8. And after conceding two early tries, the first half was all about how they responded. We see here Tukalau's first try. They went wide and found Ziffin Pita Lafaeli through the hands, and he just went in in the corner to start what looked ominous for Nui. They stumbled through the start, Nui. And Tokelau took full advantage of it with the field position, position, smartly through the hands. And Pita Lafaele opens the scoring for the Tokelau inside. They played discipline, they played smartly, playing in the right areas of the field. Got themselves in field position this time. Sam Josua jumps out of dummy half, saw his winger in open spaces, lobs the ball over. And Zafar and Peter Lafaele gets his second for the day. It looked like it was all going to be Tukalau for the day at this moment in time as they raced out to an 8 0 lead. That's a lovely play here. Down the short side, off the carry from Joseph Talesa and Boston Cochran Makalina. So inspirational for his side through his work, through his actions. A great reward for the young man. Then on this occasion, setting up Phoenix Makatoa, who went over to score their second try and give them the lead. Phoenix Makatoa from Massey High School, scoring the try that gave them the lead. The entire team came to embrace him. You can tell they were unified and ready as a team to take on this Tukalau side, and they have the lead 12 to 8 here at halftime. What do you think? Talk aloud, we'll be saying in their halftime huddle. We'll get back to way the, the way they started the game. They lost their way through some errors. Some of them through contact on the ground and losing the ball and the play of the ball. Get back to kicking the opposition. Try and get themselves in an arm wrestle that they can win. Get back to moving the ball around. For the new ends, it's about everybody playing their part, and that's what was good for them in the back end of the half. The half. Big fellas trundling up the field, trucking up well, making metres. Outside backs getting in, doing the same. Their footwork being dangerous. It's slippery, slippery for ball carriers, slippery for defenders as well. So everybody in the, in the team for New Aid playing their part. And I think that's what both coaches will be saying. Everybody be ready, put your hands up. We need all your involvements here to get the win. Well, it was the interchange, wasn't it, that really made the difference in the first half, in that second quarter of that first half, so will they play another big part here in the second? No doubt, no doubt it will. It's been important for them, and as I said, these guys on the bench understand their responsibility to get on there and have that impact that's required. Now, on the hit up, and Tulimanu getting straight into his work with a big carry. Kaiva, Tulimanu, you saw fakes the pick up instead, Savaka taking it forward. A nice couple of tackles to begin the set for Tokelau and Yosua. Adding his impetus. Now over the 40 metre line. He's so good in for Tokelau territory. when he runs. Setu Fa'avai nearly through the tackle. Nice run from Setu Fa'avai. Skittled the defenders, and then it was just a flop from Nui. Tried to get control, re-engage control in the tackle, doing so illegally. A couple of nice plays right from the kickoff. Tulumanu leading the charge. 
And then Sam Jusua going for a dart. Um, good start here so far for the Tuka Lounge. Jusua to, to use a couple of dummy runners and then hit Sinefili. Jusua, Fa'avai. Taking in the tackle of Cochrane Makalina. Yosua dropping it off. Tulimanu, too big, too strong. Kaiva Tulimanu puts Tokelau back into it. It's 12 all, conversion to come. Setu Fa'avai has been really busy. He's had a couple of strong carries already in this half. His carry lays the platform, gets into the point, and that danger man, Sam Yosua again. They leave a defender on the ground. And I love what Tulemanu does there. Just gets nice and low. Not just relying on brute strength, and he is a strong man, and he took some stopping anyway, but his body positioning to get low and almost be impossible to get underneath the ball was the key for him getting that try. They get themselves back on level pegging as far as the score is concerned. And they'll be really, really happy with the start of this second half. They didn't need to get to their kick. They got a penalty. Another set at them. And that's the best way to finish your sets. Talk about kicking. No better way than scoring the try. No better way to start the second half. But with an impressive set, getting up the field, winning a penalty, and then scoring directly beneath the post. Kaiva Tulimanu. He started Tukalau. the set. Great reward finishing it. A successful conversion. Returning the lead to Tukalau, 14 to 12. And whilst they'll be disappointed to concede this try and start the half that way, New Way can take some heart and take positivity out of the fact they haven't had the ball yet. They haven't touched the ball this half. Going to try and fix up their D, get themselves some position, and try and get into their work like they did at the back end of the first half. A deficit won't deter this new A side. They were down by eight early in this game. And they were able to take a four point lead into half time. But what might deter them? is the intimidating presence of Kaiva Tulimanu who is putting this Tokelau's team on his back here at Kaiva Tulimanu and Situ Fa'avai twin, twin brother of Sila Fa'avai in the seven jersey No need to get loose now Tokelau as we mentioned at the top of the half I think about trying to finish the set as strong as he as they can and try and get to the kick while they get a stoppage in play. They get to regroup, have a talk, a couple of plays to try and work out how they're going to get to their kick. It's a player injured, I believe it's Austin Talangi. He's gone down, holding his shoulder. Well, we hope he's okay, the young man. All these guys in full credit to every one of these players at this tournament and have all put their bodies on the line for the last five days. It's been a fantastic spectacle of rugby league and each and every one of these players has more than played their part. So 14 to 12 here, Pukalau lead new eight. An injury brings a stop to play. But we've already seen the topsy-turvy nature of this match. Both teams have had the lead. Both teams have had momentum. The key players have stood up here in the second half. You have to imagine there'll be even more characters, even more key players stepping up. Austin Talangi is the player leaving the field in 20 with the injury, replacing him. 
is Shaza Tangiko. I agree. There's 23 and a half minutes left in the game. And with the scoreline as close as it is, there's still time more than for someone to make a real name for themselves. And go on to win this game for their country. This is the last chance for both of these teams to play in the jersey that represents their nation and their culture. And you can tell how much it means as they throw everything into these contacts as Sams Yosua floats a kick over the top and it's taken down by Poi Matangi Atutue Matautia. He refuses to go to ground and Nui have a rare opportunity in the second half with the ball in hand. Oh, and they come up with an error on the second carry. Kanavatoa with the error. That's exactly what Tukala would have wanted after kicking early in the set. That's it, and that should have been the discussion when they had the stoppage in play. Was, All right, we're going to put it in the corner, exactly what Sam Josua did. And then when we've got to go to D, let's muscle up, let's get our line speed and rock some shoulders into the ball carriers, and that's exactly what happened. Nice shot and a turnover and a disappointing start with the ball for Newa, unfortunately. Got the screams and support from the crowd here for Newa. Hold fast in defence. A call, but Zion Savaka will score the try straight away off the set piece. Brilliant work, out wide they went to Savaka, and he will score their second try of the second half. And a nice play off the scrum base. Getting the winger Savaka on the outside of his wingman, he had some work to do. A nice left hand fin. Tiptoe with the touch line, keeping himself in field. Nice work, Jonathan Solomona, to put the ball in the spot. And Savaka, nice work to get himself a try. His first for the day. His mate on the other wing has bagged a couple already. He gets himself one. And Tokelau extend the lead out to 18-12. With this tough kick to come, with the importance of trying to work your way out and the errors and getting punished. Tough for you at. We've had 10 minutes and they've had two carries. And one of those ended in an error. Need to try and find themselves a sustained period of possession here for a little while. Jonathan Solomon now with the opportunity to return Tukalau back to their eight point lead that they had at the beginning of this match. And he does so successfully, the fullback. 20 to 12 here. And with that, Jonathan, Jonathan Solomona. Lovely line. Setting up Savaka. Zion Savaka from King's College. To dive over and score. And that's a huge kick. It's a huge kick from the sideline. But a huge kick in the context of the game. Taking it out to a two score lead. You have to try and score twice now whilst trying to stop the opposition from scoring again. Joseph Talisa kicking it down. Togolau and Mireti, who was sinbinned in the first half, is back on the field. I love it. I love it every time these young, these young players carry the ball off the kickoff. They just come off the back fence and throw themselves at the defensive line. You know there's going to be contact. Every single time it happens. Haiva Tulimanu, and again. He's having a game. Solomona, Fa'avai. The offload from Sinefili just not quite reaching his support runner. So they'll recollect themselves, and it's brother to brother. Fa'avai. Sila to C2. 
Solomona needing to straighten the attack and give them some forward momentum. Does so. Taken down by three defenders. It's their final play. Lafaele kicks it high into the air. We have Talesa. Joseph Talesa is under it. And that was a really smart carry from the fullback, Jonathan Solomona. After they had tried to come out to the left hand side and it went a bit wayward, the rescue play was to come back. Now, if you have a shot and you have a play and it doesn't quite work, the important thing is to come back and just get a carry. It's important that you get to your kick, and that's what Jonathan Solomon did. He just straightened play up, redirected things, carried the ball in, set him up for the kick, and now they're in good field position. Mature play, wasn't it, from jo Jonathan Solomon, the 16 year old, year 12 from Rongatai College in the St. George Club. And here he is tracking back after the ball. Jonathan Solomon stepping. Staying on his feet. And setting play up for Tukalau. Just outside their 40 metre line. Both teams settling into their work. This was how the game's complexion looked in the first half. 20 to 12, an eight point lead to Tukalau. And Nui were able to come back. Will that narrative repeat itself in the second half? Or can Tukalau hold on to their lead? Both teams are going to ask real questions, and it's up to these defences to answer them. As Fa'avai puts a kick in behind, and again, Talesa is back there. He's been very tidy in his touches today. Joseph, Talesa, the two fullbacks. It's been, been a good contest, good. isn't it? The two of them have been both influential for their sides, but we're into that arm wrestle now. Both teams have got to their kicks. They're fighting for a little bit of field position. Bit of advantage here to Tokelau's way. More, more of the game's been played deep in the new way half. New has got to try and carry, and if they can get a kick, try and get it as deep as possible. The defense has been good on the set from Tokelau. As they drop it into Poi Matangi, Matautia, and try to go wide. Hitting Tokotama, who steps. Aaron Tokotama eventually going to ground. Explorative position there for Nui. But they will kick from inside their own half. The kick deep. Solomona. And look at the D-line. Great chase from Nui. Great distance on the kick. And look at how many players from Nui are still struggling to get behind the ball. It's exactly what you want when you're working out and you're talking about this arm wrestle. Great line of chase from Nui. Those our forwards tiring as we get into this final quarter of the match. That eight point lead is by no means secure. We have seen it dissipate as Nui have fought their way back already in this match from an eight point hole. And so here, these last 15 minutes will be crucial. It's Pereira. Joseph Pereira on the carry. Now Fa'avai Fungali. Wide to Nualafa Masui. And he's put into touch. And trying to run it on last play. Took it out. It felt like they were in the half. And I'm not sure if they realised it was last tackle and the kick was needed. A little bit of advantage goes New Way. New Way's way now as they start on the 30 metre line. They could be inside Tokelau's half within a couple of strong carries. A nice little arm wrestle. And be patient with this new end. Well, we've seen this before, haven't we? This is exactly how that first half played out. You know, there was an arm wrestle of sets that Nui were on the better of. You don't have to try and overplay your hand. There's still a little bit of time here. Carry from Hiryu Misiopo. And a big hit up. A carry from Tangiko. Viviani. Poi Viviani onto the field. And out wide to Tokotama. Tokotama with a man outside him. 
the ball back out. And a lovely supporting line from Momotu. The offload from Olamali. And the try to Cooper Momotu. Nui are back in it. And great work for staying with their plan. Staying composed. When opportunities come to move, great play. Nice pass from Tukutama. Out to his wingman. And Nuomotu, the recipient of the try. May have had time to run around, but to take the four points. Great reward for building themselves and staying patient with it. As I said, they got an opportunity to start in good field position. Had that been a kick, instead they would have pinned the opposition, pinned Newe, took Alao down on the line. Instead they tried, selected to run it, caught the defences napping. Well done, Newe. They're back into this, as you said. They've already come back from eight points once. They're creeping their way back now. It's lovely work, wasn't it, from Aaron Tukutama to draw that last cover defender and put away Christian Olamali'i. Cooper, no more to Kelston Boys High School. And to score the try for Nui. It's another lovely conversion, this. Joseph Talesa. Well, he's been perfect from the tee today. Nailed and now it. 20 to 18, Nui. He nailed it. It was a big kick. Question now, could that kick from Jonathan Solomon or the one from the sideline to take it out to eight points? It's the two points difference now. How important is that kick? I think you have got a, a bit to say yet. 11 long minutes to play. They found a key here. New way is the question is can they stay disciplined to stick with it? Still so much to play for here in the consolation final between Nui and Tugalau. 20 to 18, it's going to go down to the wire. Jonathan Solomona with the kickoff for Tugalau and Nui will hit it up. Hard into the defence. Sheza Tangiko. That's exactly how he carried off the first kickoff and he's still carrying like that. Great to see. Defence of Situ Fawai and Tulimanu stopping Furio Messiapo on the second carry. And a penalty, Situ Fawai. Diving in with the forearm on that play. Ill discipline from Tukalau. The last thing Tukalau need is to open the door, however slightly ajar for Nui here. The tails are up for Nuet, and rightly so. They're full of running, full of beans. Feels like history repeating, doesn't it? The two penalties, ill discipline from Tukalau, allowing Nuet back into the match. Building in that second quarter after going down by eight points. They're now just two points away from the comeback. That's right. And whether it's fatigue, fatigue in the game, fatigue of possession or fatigue of the last couple of the days you just lose concentration and that's a great shot a great work from Boston Cochrane Makalena to fight out of it and fight for more yards sorry Tangiko resilient in the tackle managed to go forward despite meeting a tough shoulder in that of Kaiva Tulimanu and now Nui building again Tangiko busy Number 10 for Nui. Shaza Tangiko. Poi Viviani. To Bokram Maka. Out wide. The kick in behind deflected off the foot of Tukalau. Austin Cochran Makalina out wide. The kick. And a bit of luck for Nui. Because he played at it and went dead. They get the drop out now. Great result for Nui. They look a little bit low and a little bit flat here, Tukalau, at the moment. Need to find some energy. 
Position hasn't been theirs for a little while. The energy and the zest that you are playing with, that's got to be matched defensively. They can't be flat. Took it out. Got to aim up here. Dalamir Vitala. A man from Nui High School offloading for Poi Viviani. Nui. Boston, Cochrane, Makalena bouncing away from Tulimanu. Will the captain play the deciding factor for Nui? His carries. Makatoa, one of the try scorers already stripped. Yeah, obvious one that one. You could see the three defenders in the tackle. And Makatoa already scored himself a try already this afternoon. Sorry, this morning. And the danger's already there for the Tokelau and defenders. Makatoa doing well on the carry there. Boy Viviani. Tangiko. His efforts have been substantial here. And knock on for Nui. Well, they had time and tackles on their side. But an unforced error will allow Tokelau to work their way out of their own danger zone. And they'll be okay if they can accept that it's just a lost opportunity for now. They've got to build themselves and, and try to create another chance up here. And if they can hold Tokelau to as minimal metres as possible, it'll go a long way for them. As I said, they look flat defensively. They need to find some energy carrying the ball here, Tokelau. Solomona, the man to do it, injecting his speed, and finding Sila Favai, who's stripped, stripped in the tackle by his opposite half, Liam Hikingatoa. And a smart defensive player, and it always is when you're able to get a one-on-one -on -one to realise you've got the ball in the possible position and strip it legally. Well done. Talisa, a slight... Young player, but not afraid to take on the line and use his physicality. Poi Viviani, straightening from dummy half. Nui with yet again another opportunity on Tokelau's line. They go from dummy half over the line. In for the try. It's a try to their half. Liam picking that door. Nui take the lead. Yeah, great try from him, Haki Angatoa. He's the one that stripped the ball and started the play and got position for his side. It was only right that he's the one that scores the try and the possible winner for New Eight. They go out to a 22-20 lead. Too sharp, too strong, too good on this occasion. Great try to Hungi Angatoa for the New Eight inside and the way to position too much for the defence of the Tokelauns. Whilst there's a stoppage in play for this kick, it is an opportunity and a chance for Tokelau to re-energise somewhat. We've got four minutes and change to really try and rescue this lead back. This has been a fantastic contest from both sides, where both sides have had quite sustained periods of momentum and control, position, and both teams have used that position really well. Liam Hakinga Tua from De La Salle scores the try, converted by Kalesa. Nui have come back 24 to 20 now. They led 12 to 8 at half time after coming back from an eight point deficit, and they've done the exact same thing in the second. Nui, not far now until they can take the win, but this game is far from over. And it says a lot about them to bounce back from yesterday's result. Well, tough to take, the 
soundly beaten in the end by Tukalau, but I said if they, the turning point was when they lost the player to the Sinbin, such an influential one such as Boston Cocker and Makalena, you know, if they were able to keep 13 on the field for the whole game today, it could be a different story. They're still not home yet. Tangi Ko with another great carry. Man for Nui in the 10 jersey and a big fend off coming in from Fario Misiopo. Nui on the front foot with the lead. They have been the slow and steadier of the two teams. Tokelau on both sides of the half have come out firing and scored points, but they have not been able to sustain their momentum, whereas Nui have kept their foot on the pedal, but a knock on, and so three minutes, just under three minutes for Tokelau. Can they bring that energy back? Well, can they get back to doing what they did well to Nui? Got a bit loose in the offloads and bringing some rewards, and it was a loose pass to the ground. Well, they weren't quite able to cleanly take it back into their position. Uh, their position. Pressure from uh, from the Tuka Lowndes forces the error. And as you said, they need the energy. They need some fight. They need to try and play quick. They Here need the ball in this man's hands. He's the man to do it. The young man to do it. Joseph or Jonathan Solomona. Tulimanu, another key figure here for Tokelau. Four points. Can they score here in the final two minutes? It's Solomona again, out the back to Fa'avai. Sila Fa'avai, Sila Fa'avai still going. They've got a fresh set. Somebody touched it in the referee's here. Back to one. They've got a full set to play with here, Tokelau. You saw Subs, you saw going himself. Strength to get over the line. But he can't get the ball down. And so Tugalau will start this attack. On the 10 meter line, Tulimanu. Tulimanu, Kaiva, Tulimanu still going offline. And Funali, Funali's over. In the corner, it's all level. The conversion could win it. For Tukalau, it's 24 all. And a huge play for Tukalau. All of a sudden, they get in a good position on the field to attack, and they've got themselves a whole bag of energy, all of them. And Tulemanu, the big man, after the small man, Sam Yosur was held up. Going down the short side, Tulemanu, too strong in the, in the tackle. Great skill to get the ball out. And a great try there for Tukilau to draw the, draw the score up. And a big kick, as you said, with 30 seconds to go. We're into a draw. And this is the winner right here. And who else? Jonathan Solomona, the man himself. Two key men stepping up in that set for Tukilau. Solomona and Tulimanu. And it was Harlem Fungali. Waitakiri. Maris Club, who gets a try that draws them level. We go to Golden Point. If this conversion misses, and if there isn't time left, we hear the hooter for full time, so this should be the last play. Jonathan Solomona from the sideline to win it. It's away. So we're going to Golden Point. So we have a minute's break now where the teams will come back in and, and retoss. And you said five minutes of play each way. What a match we have oh, had on our hands between Nui and Tokelau, 24 all. And both teams have been fantastic in this contest. Taking advantage of the position that they've had. Punishing the opposition for errors. We've had some good arm wrestles in the game. Just see who's got the most energy now. 
We've expended a lot of energy over the last five days. You can see he's got enough about him to see this through and score the first points. Both teams proven to be capable of scoring, but the momentum of this match and how each team has been able to implement their game time in crucial moments. It's been a deciding factor. Nui, well, he's been able to withstand Tokelau's exciting starts where they've put on points, they've been intimidating and domineering in their play. They've taken that in their stride and stayed in the game and come back. And it was Tokelau in the last play that with two X-Factor ball carriers and Solomona and Tulimanu were able to work their way up and then finish in the corner through Fungali. And as we said during commentary, they found themselves down on a couple of occasions by eight points and did a great job to, to claw that back and see if they can take the lead here in a real tight tense tussle to find the winner of this third and fourth place match well we're into golden point so field position becomes oh so crucial teams can take a penalty goal or a drop kick to win the game both teams will want safe play out of their own danger areas and it's Tulimanu on the carry here. Golden point, Tokelau versus Nui. 100% we've seen some adventurous play from both teams coming from this end. And that's about as adventurous as they need to be. One pass play, get yourself up the field, Sam Josua stealing another 10 metres for the Tokelauans. It's a lovely set here to begin. Extra time for Tokelau and a kick over the top from Fa'avai is chased but brought down by Nui and Kupa Nomotu. Talesa met hard in the tackle of Sila Fa'avai. They've said how good they've been the outside backs for, for Nui carrying out here and how they've complimented their big fellas. That's got to be the case here if they want to get down to the other end. Olomalai, Tukutama both engaging the line. And now Boston Cochran, Makalina backing himself. Boston Cochran, Makalina still going. Boston Cochran, Makalina stepping inside. A tackle from Situ Fawai brings him down, but here comes Nui. And they've got acres of space out on their right hand side if they're able to move the ball to Kalel. I mean, huge, New huge carry from the captain. He's gone down injured. It might be cramp, it could be something more serious. But Boston, Cochran, Makalina with a massive carry here in extra time. And golden point for Nui, the captain. An outstanding run by the captain. I gave him very little chance to get outside the winger. He did that. I gave him little to no chance to get inside the fullback. He did that. And just didn't have enough pace to finish it off. What a fantastic run to get his team eight metres out from the Nguyen Tukalau try line. Yeah, they take their time. Now Nui with possession in the hands of Talesa out wide. Nua Lona to his winger. Poe Matangi Matautia deflected. They'll get a new set to play with. Patient play needed here for Nui to win this match in golden point. Rumbling it forward for Rio Misiepo. Faitala barreling forward, still going. Delamere Faitala directly underneath the post is setting up for a field goal. Deep into the pocket, back for Talisa who knocks it on, does he? And this. Joseph Talesa with the knock on with a minute and a half left in the first period of overtime and golden points. And Tokelau somehow walk away unscathed 
24 all it remains. And it was John T. U. Martini from the Took Allowance who went out and push, put the pressure on. And it was that pressure, even though he stepped out, he still had to rush his drop kick from in front and missing. And I was going to say, New Way had to work themselves to the middle, and they did a good job of doing that. Probably not in the way they would have liked, but still got to the middle to set themselves up. Zion Savaka with the big step. A good tackle coming in on him from Nomotu and Talesa. Fanui. Every moment matters now in Golden Point. We're in to the final minute. Will Tokelau attempt to attack? Or will they settle things and go for a restart? It's teaming down here now. Possession is so important and concentration holding the ball is so important for your side. Twenty seconds left in our first period of overtime. Solomona wide for Avai. Fungali. Fungali. Still going, Harlem Fungali. Offloads for Avai with the ball. They're keeping it alive. Talk aloud. One last play. Sandio Sua back to Situ Favai. Jonathan Solomona, the magic man. The kick in behind is Messi. It's knocked on and so we will finish our first period of overtime and it's still a deadlock. It's 24 all. You'd have to say that they had the better of the going in that half in that five minute period. Nui, the only ones to get a shot off. Unfortunately, the drop kick going wide. Couple of nice passages going wide for Tokelau. It'd be a bit more difficult to try and keep doing that to go to the edges with the rain coming down. Tokelau now, they get to kick off. And this is the question do you want to receive or do you want to kick off? Are you fighting for, for possession of the ball or are you fighting for field position? Well, if they can go to their D and restrict the yardage get some of those big shots that they know they can do like Tulemanu getting the shoulder in under the ball and force an error they could play their way here took it out what a way to begin our finals day here at the Pacifica Youth Cup with a golden point match up in the championship consolation final 24 all after 65 minutes and we're gonna head into our second period of Golden Point. Jonathan Solomona kicks us off. And it's into the hands of Tangiko, who's been brilliant for Nui to carry them forward. He's been great too. Sol Fario Masihipo, just busy, willing, and strong. Now Dalamir Faitala. Making some meters here, New Way. Now, Nomotu over halfway for New Way. It's a good start to the set as they kick. And it's charged. Getting back after it, Boston Cochrane Makalena, but he's knocked it on. And so, talk aloud with pressure on the clearance, have put themselves in a fantastic position to take this match. And a great charge down has been rewarded. Eagerness to get out and pressure the kicker. It's happened on a couple of occasions. They've been good at that today, took it out. Look like New we're gonna get reposition of the ball. With the wet surface, the wet ball, a bit too difficult to take for them. Interesting to see how they play this now, took it out. Best chance of the game of this period of extra time for them. The conditions have certainly worsened. The rain is coming down, the umbrellas are out, the ball is slippery, and both of these teams will be tested in these final moments. To Martini with the first carry for Tokelau. Yosua straightening and handing it off to Kaiva Tulimanu. Sams Yosua. Back to Situ Favai. 
It's their third. And now you saw wants a settling carry for Tulimanu. And he says, I'm not ready to settle. I'm going for the line. Kaiva Tulimanu. Fourth now. Yosua dropping it back and over the line. The win, the try. John Tiru Martini wins it for Tukalau. And well done, Tukalau. Take a bow, New Way. You more than played your part in that. And as disappointed as they are, a great win and a great comeback and a great try for Tukalau. Sams Yosua spots the opening. John Teu Martini gets nice and low. Too low again. He's done a great job. A couple of occasions on that play. Too hard to stop. And he the try that seals it. Massively to Martini in these final moments. He's charged kicks, he's made tackles. And now he's scored the winner here in Golden Point. It is Tukalau who take the win. 28 to 24 over Nui. Pacifica Youth Cup is in its final day and we have had an amazing beginning to our tournament's penultimate day. Samoa taking on Kuki Arani in our second match. But we've only really just had a moment to take a breath after the golden point victory for Tokelau over Nui. As the rain begins to fall here in Pukukoi Navigation Home Stadium, Samoa and the Cook Islands will face off in the Premiership Constellation Final. Referees Liam O'Brien, Pucky Parkinson, and Raul Pauvali.
Samoa taking on Cookie Arani. The challenge laid down between these two teams. And if our last match was anything to go by, these two teams are going to go deep into the well of effort to take out a win today. And regardless, we'll need to. This is their fourth game in four days. And the form guide, Samoa, one win, one draw. Drew with Tonga on day one. Had a loss to the New Zealand Māori on day two. And had a hard-fought win yesterday against the Cook Islands. So this is a game, again, that's a repeat of yesterday. We'll see what uh, the Cook Islands have in response. They started the better. Samoa was slow out of the blocks yesterday afternoon. Found themselves down at half-time. And changed their mindset and eventually came away with the win. We'll see if that's the case and they can start in the fashion that they did the second half yesterday. Cook Islands to kick us off and it's Samoa who through Osaka kicked the ball to touch directly off the kickoff. And a poor start. Poor start for Samoa. Nice kick. Put it right in the corner. Put it between two people. Made it almost impossible to catch. And Cook Islands be really, really happy with that. We will note that unlike earlier days in this tournament, it is wet today. The rain has come down strongly. And now the Cook Islands with possession. A good opportunity in Colini Collins. Julio Tau. Back to Selwyn Cecil. And Dwayne Genomina on the carry. Harris to Ray Bartz. Jake Ray Bartz carrying forward nicely there. So they're very close to the line and Harris dropping off the pass to Walker. Cock Islands would love to put some points on the board early in this one and it's back for Selwyn Cecil who steps and is into space. Selwyn Cecil, can he reach out and score? He can. Mararangi Areki, Selwyn Cecil with the first try of the match. The Cookie Airani, Cook Islands take the lead. Samo will be really disappointed. One, with not handling the kickoff well enough and then not handling the play. There was nothing expansive at all about the Cook Islands play straight off the ruck. And then when the halfback gets it on last play, not enough attention paid or from the defensive line, but a great run from, from Cecil. Manarangiaki, Sel and Cecil, Ariki, Sel and Cecil, great try. The big man is a big tall thing. And just as well, he had enough reach about him to score under the sticks. And like yesterday, they take the lead to Cook Islands. Again, looks like Samoa slow out of the blocks. A little bit of magic there on the final tackle for Kuki Arani. Mararangi, Ariki, Sel and Cecil with a brilliant try, really out of nothing. It was out of nothing. It looked like he was going to go for a drop kick from right under the sticks, but saw there was only one chaser, one person putting pressure on him. Left foot step, found a gaping hole. As I said, had enough reach about him to get over the line in a well-taken try. One person I'm uh, really surprised to see out there today is Thomas Harris, the nine for the Cook Islands. He was in bits yesterday as far as limping. He was throwing himself at, at no stage at all. I'm speaking of his bravery, bravery and courage here. Did he want to come off? He stayed on for the whole game and right until the end until he couldn't walk no more. He's recovered really well to take his place tonight this afternoon and he's a real important figure you see a lot go through him out of dummy half over the top a kick off Manarangi Araki Selwyn Cecil cannot keep it in the field of play so it'll be a drop out and that's one all on the kick off stakes one for Cook Islands and one for Samoa just a little lapse in concentration from both but Equally good kickoffs. A 
dropout is nice and high and will put pressure on the catcher in these wet conditions as Samoa take it down and will attack through Bellamy. Lamale, a dangerous player from dummy half, threatens to run and gives it to his vice captain and Mason Terore, who's flung to ground. Lamale to his captain Saleh Tupu out the back, Hull. He steps over the initial defender. Good strength shown there from the half. As they go now over the 10. Terore dummying. Out wide. Tuli stepping. You see it, Tuli. For Samoa. Nimale to Sale to Tupu. Tries to spin out of the tackle but goes to ground. Options either side here. Lemale to Tirore. Out the back for Hull. Hull engaging the line. Offloading. Great hands. And over the line. AJ Olungia scoring the try for Samoa. And it's 6 to 4. And Samoa already showing they're the more willing of the two teams to move the ball around. They can adjust their depths a little bit. They're playing a little bit flat, but Ace Ho deciding to go down the short side, running it out on the right hand side here. Busting play, nice hands, and getting down to score. AJ Olumia, he gets the first one for Samoa. Both teams punishing each other for poor receptions on the kickoff with field position. You see if they've got some concentration here. Samoa, tough kick. Coming up right here for Mason Terori, who was busy in that set. Got his hands on the ball a couple of times. As I said, Samoa can just adjust their depth and bring the defence out a little bit. Give themselves a bit of time on the ball. Alungia from Oriri College, the try scorer. Some, some superb goal kicking in that first match between Tukalau and Nui that went into overtime. He's eventually won by Tokelau. Tirori away on that occasion with his conversion. So Cook Islands will retain the lead despite conceding the try at 6-4. We'll see what Samoa have in store. Neither team have had to do any yardage attack yet. Both teams making errors and inviting the opposition into good ball positions to play and attack. We'll see what Samoa have here if they're able to take this kickoff reception cleanly enough. Samoa. Heading it up off the kickoff and they'll just look for a settling set of six here getting out of their half in these wet conditions in the hands of Bellamy now Terore to Tatupu who knocks it on and so those errors will become more and more prominent with this wet weather the rain is coming down heavily here in Pukakoi and they've got to quickly come to terms with the fact that how they've carried the ball in the last couple of days and this steaming sunshine is going to change here in the driving rain. Paulini Collins with the carry. Thomas Harris out to Burling. Harris. Wide for Ray Bartz, and it takes a couple of players to drag him backwards. The rain, as you can see, coming down. Now Manarangi Araki Selwyn Cecil out wide. Great hands in the wet conditions here. Cook Islands, can he spin and place the ball? Tau, no he can't, they go quickly. Colini Collins looks to have been able to drop the ball over the line. 
Oh, and the touch judges ruled he's knocked it on. Unlucky, unlucky. Colini Collins, he scored a try yesterday. Scored a, scored a beauty. But wasn't able to get over then. And almost punished in the maximum way. Samoa for the error. Well, the heavens have opened up. It is coming down in droves here at Navigation Home Stadium. So the type of game has to change and which team will adjust better to these tough conditions. Olungia, the try scorer with a lovely carry. Direct running in close quarters will be key. The tight carries could hurt you. It's those types of carries. Out Here comes the... Roach. VJ Roach showing some speed. And they can't touch him. VJ Roach with a brilliant try for Samoa. What speed from the fullback. And out of nothing, I was just going to say that the tight plays today are going to be the tough ones. That's where the defence will be tighter. You can just get out to about B or C. You might find some draw. He'll get a one-on-one -on -one and a quick play. He does better than that, VJ. Nice carry. Could do a swap in arms. Keeping the ball away from the defender. Great run from VJ Roach, the fullback for Samoa, and a great try. He just took the angle, didn't he? Well right taken. off that second tackle and just backed himself. Impressive speed from the fullback, VJ Roach. He just got that half glimpse of the gap and then just put his foot down, got himself through, and then finished the job. That's all he needed. A young player from St. Peter's College in Auckland. Plays fullback for their first 15 in rugby union. And out here today at fullback in rugby league. Lethal play. And in these conditions, well, the score lines are going to shrink. And tries like that can be deciding factors. VJ Roach with a massive play. Mason Terore with the kicking responsibilities. away but they have the lead eight to six the game has been lifted in difficulty by the rain that has come down heavily here and at eight to six Samoa have taken a big step towards winning this match you're 100 percent right the rain is a leveler and a real test for your skill and concentration carrying the ball spoke about the importance of controlling the ball especially coming out of your own end that's going to be another test for both teams here in these conditions Samoa a good hit up First play of their set. Over to Terore. Afi Singer on the carry there. Onto the field. You'll see a Tuli. A good kicking option for Samoa. He's set up some lovely tries with his boot. A great kicking option. But from yardage in the driving rain, play three, saw the fullback was up flat. Acres of space with which to kick from. And reward for Samoa, knock on by the Cook Islands. Unfortunately, Cameron Peter out of dummy half is the one to come up with the knock on and come back to that smart kick. You'll see Turning. That. Tuli, wasn't it? A brilliant kick down turning, the field. For sure, turning the Cook Islanders around. Had to rely on that dummy half run. and Samoa were waiting defensively. Didn't need to. Just a clean knock on. Well, you'd have to imagine there's going to be a lot more of that tactical kicking earlier in the set. Spying space. Trying to force mistakes. And be comfortable with doing that. Some of the concerns are oh, we have to tackle again, but 
You're tackling in good parts of the field. Here comes Samoa over the line. A great try. Deba Lamalili has scored it. Just saw some space open up in front of him. Deba Lamalili, and he scores for Samoa. And a great result for that smart kick. It was already a great outcome because of the error and the turnover of position for Samoa. But they've turned that position into points. Deba Lamalili. Too big, too strong. Defender's not able to get back to the line. Too close, too big to the line, close to the line to go around the legs. The big fella just falls over and picks up a four pointer for Samoa. A bit of an easier kick here for Mason Terori. Tipa Lama Lele from De La Salle College and the Margari Club. You can see on these shots, a bit closer and a little bit more zoomed in, how heavy that rain is. So when heading into tough contact, as Tepa Lamalili did, it's worth more praise that they managed to keep the ball secure, get it to ground and score the try, as Tepa Lamalili did on this occasion, carrying the ball securely. And if you're going to pass and you're, you're going to play to get your players a bit wide, especially when you're coming at this end, as Samuel will be after this kickoff, it's important that you play early. You give the catcher of the ball no pressure from the defence. You give him time to catch, adjust if he needs to. You don't want to be playing people at the line under that pressure. So Samoa in the wet conditions have made the better adjustments as of yet. 14-6. to six. It's been the wise kicking game of Josia Tuli. And some lovely carries. And unfortunate for the Cook Islands kicking out on the full. Backing up, conceding the try with an error. Some more comfortable to take the tap. Afi Singa, who hits it up and Makes some impressive metres on that carry, at least 15 metres on the carry there. So he drop it back inside to the try scorer, Lamalele, who bunts them off and keeps going. Great carry there from Tipa Lamalele as they go wide to Tuli out the back. Roach with the wayward pass, it's a recount. And Isaka can straighten things and the knowledge that They'll have six more tackles. Straightening. They may not need them. They're over again, Samoa. This time, Jerry Seahawk scores the try, and Samoa, in the wet conditions, have proven they can lift to another level. They got the penalty on halfway and decided to run it, and it was Tepe Lomalili's carry on play two that really did the damage to the defensive line. They went out to the left. Tried to go through a pass through the VJ Roach. It was touched by the Cook Islanders. Went back to one. And Jerry Seal says, give me the ball, I'll drive it over. And you may have uh, heard me speak about Samoa yesterday and how they went in at halftime in the same game when they played the same opposition behind. And they came back to win. The biggest difference they did yesterday in the second half was their intent to carry the ball. They weren't doing that the first half, and they've done that a lot better. After the, the initial start and going behind on the scoreboard, their big men have decided to carry hard, carry strong. They've been dominant, they've been dangerous, and they've been hard to handle for the Cook Island defence. Good conversion from Mason Tirore. You can see the crowd retreating into the covered stand here at Navigation Home Stadium. 20 to 6 to score, Samoa. Ahead of Kukiarani. It's been good for it after the initial 
slow start, missing the kickoff, and then conceding the try. Early doors. When the half back for for the Cook Islands, Manaringa Ariki Selwyn Cecil opened the scoring for the game and opened the scoring for the Cook Islanders. It looked like the Samoans uh, weren't going to be on it, but that soon changed after that kickoff, and they've got themselves well and truly in a position to be in control of this game. Now Jerry Seal, the try scorer. Building on his good work. Four points. Good carry there. Mason Terore. Maybe a consolation final, but Samoa, they'll feel hard done by. He drew with Tonga, who are in the Premiership final, taking on New Zealand Māori later today. So this may feel like a chance to redeem themselves as a team. A bit. And they went into the game yesterday against the Cook Islands knowing that they needed to score almost 50 points. The start never really allowed them to do that whilst they ended up winning the game and scoring a few points in the second half. It was the start of the game that really put them in this position. They had a chance to get to the final, but it wasn't to be. And Tonga done a little bit better and got themselves there, but Samoa have rectified things here from yesterday. Certainly a shame for the Samoan side that their place in the final came down to a points differential because as a side, especially in that game against Tonga, they proved the comeback kings, they were able to bring it back and draw that game with a last-minute try to EJ Tatupu, their captain. Yeah, last-second try, wasn't it? And both sides uh, were pretty happy. Oh, and a drop ball. Clever kick from Nathan Mareva, putting Isaka under pressure. And Cook Island starting to adjust well, using their kicking game. And I talk about the kicking game, and we saw the kick from Yosia Tuli from Samoa to find space. And kicking to find ground is going to be important. But kicking in the weather to put the catchers and the receivers under pressure is just as important as we saw there with the Cook Islanders. And the cookie will be happy with that. And Samoa, first time for a little bit, having to defend. I bet it's their first time having to defend in rain like this. The conditions are tough. Colini Collins taking them on. Now Harris opting to go back to Burling. Who's met hard by Terore and Tatupu. Dayton Walker. Doing well. Dayton Walker. Staying on his feet. Still going, leg. Dayton Walker. Great leg drive. And Harris going on his own. Almost caught them off guard. And they have done. The Cook Islands opportunistic in their work and they've scored their second try and Thomas Harris had a bite first was held up short yeah. Samoa couldn't adjust couldn't adjust the defensive line Ma, defenders around the ruck needed to get tighter and Ngairi Timo Mana with the try great try Timo Mana opportunistic Maybe so, four points, still the same. And after an error from the kick reception, Samoa concede the try. And the Cookies get their second for the game. Well, across this tournament, the Cook Islands have had a few injuries to contend with. Had to pull a few extra players in from other areas. Losing the likes of Samasoni Fatu and Sam Toko. Key players in the side. But out here, they are still giving everything. It's 20 to 12, Samoa. They would have felt comfortable, but after conceding a try that easily, 
there's got to be some warning bells going off inside the Samoan camp. Yeah, it's all very well attacking and playing with the ball, especially up the other end. You know, one, you've got to have that same vigour and energy when you're carrying down your own end, but then keep that energy when you're defending. Thomas Harris had no right to leave defenders on the ground, but had the urgency to play quick for Tinwood Mana to go over and score the try. Terori with the deep kick off. It's a good kick, but Raybart's now with a chance to ramble it, rumble it upfield. Jake Raybart's the man from Hamilton Boys High School. And now Cassius Bell. Terore up to meet him in a good tackle. Now Burling. Some really smart carries from the Cook Islanders over the advantage line. Ray Bartz with his second. Almost getting them to halfway. They should be able to kick this from a good field position. And try and come up with something as they did on the last kick. This kick a bit more tactical. It may sit up. It does. Just knocked forward in the hands of Cameron Peter, who did well to accelerate and get his hands to the ball, but bobbled it in the air and couldn't quite get a fingertip to it. And it wasn't a kick that, went, that landed on top of the fullback. It wasn't a kick for position or pointing out where he was. It was a kick in between the winger and the fullback. There was indecision amongst the Samoan retrievers. And Cameron Peter did a great job. Got fingertips to it. Looks like he looked like he was going to regather. Unfortunately for Cook Islands, he knocks it on. But a nice passage of play. Nice set after points for the Cookies. Sean Isaka attacking back at them with a good carry. And now Walter Tolsala with a carry of his own. And half. Raiden Siofalau. Tuli. To Lama Lili. He's been good today. Tipper Lama Lili. Great feet from the big man at the line. So Tirure at the back. Tuli again. Now Roach wide. Isaka stepping back in field. Isaka still going. Isaka! What footwork! Beating several defenders. Light on his feet, the winger. And they're in a good position here. Going quickly. Seal Falau offloading. And Seal gets his second. Jerry Seal for Samoa responding to that try they conceded with another of their own. 24 to 12. And put that down to Sean Isaka. Down the left hand side with very little room to move. In these conditions, finding some footwork, finding some space back on the inside, stepping and beating defenders. Getting out from dummy half was Sia Folau. And a well taken try there for Samoa. As you see, Sia Folau out of dummy half. Balance, presence of mind, skill. Out to Jerry Seal. And a try again for Samoa. Much better play in yardage. And unfortunately, for this is a sad sight for the Cookies. Another injury. I don't know if it's Cameron Peter, who's been playing on the wing on the right-hand side. They can ill afford. It's a sad sight seeing somebody get injured. Jerry Seal, the try scorer from Colston Boys High School. Plays for the Marist Club. He's got two tries today. Just a subtle spin there to finish when he took the ball. He didn't have much to do, but in these conditions, even those smaller executions of skills are put to the test. Spin or pirouette? Let's go with pirouette. I like that. <laughs> Mason Terure with the conversion. I don't know if front rowers like pirouettes. I don't think they'll take spins. This one well away. So Samoa, the lead now. 
After two tries to Jerry Seal, it's 24 to 12. And with not long left in the first half, they'll be very happy with tactically how they've adjusted to the conditions. And the play here of Jerry Seal after Raiden Seal did very well to commit three defenders and made it easy for Seal to just dive over a one on one that close to the line against a smaller player was always going to end up in Seal's favour. You just feel like it's attitude and application are the biggest hurdles for Samoa to overcome. When they get that bit between their teeth, they're just strong, too strong to handle. And they're finding metres easy to come by when they do that. It's when they get a bit fluffy and try to go around the opposition, they get them, find themselves coming unstuck. That's a lovely kick again. Pressure on Collins and it's hacked in behind and there's a line of blue players ready to pick it up. It's ruled a knock-on from Samoa on this occasion after Colini Collins bobbled the ball. But again, another intelligent kick deep early in the tackle count. Yeah, it was and he found the space and it was on tackle one. The last time they kicked it, it was tackle three and they worked themselves a bit further up the field so the kick went a bit deeper. Tackle one's probably a touch too early and it didn't quite get the distance that he got on the first on the first kick that he made. The referee's seen somebody offside here on the kick as Colini Collins tried to collect it. Somebody, and there were five chases from Samoa, at least one of them has been seen to be in front of the kicker. And so the Cookies get a penalty and they're happy just to take the carry and see out the half. Well, to the relief of the Cook Islanders there, because they hadn't overrun that kick. That was a certain try for Samoa. So at half time, 24 to 12 here, and difficult condition, conditions, Samoa lead Cookie Airani. understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up, running and available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Using only world class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertec from the pack. Pertec will keep you operating. Samoa lead the Cook Islands 24 to 12 here in match two of finals day at the Pacifica Youth Cup. Navigation home stadium in Pukekohe. It's wet and both teams have had to adjust to the heavy rain and first to use his footwork in these slippery conditions was Manarangi Araki Selwyn Cecil. Impressive footwork from the young man. Two big steps beating the defenders and reaching out for the try that started proceedings here. The Cook Islands at that point led six to nil. And neither team started defensively well in this game, making errors on kickoffs and that's how Samoa got their first position. It was a nice little offload, play to the right and a wonderful try there for Samoa in their opening try. And this one was just all VJ Roach on his own. Tackle three, picking out some middle defenders, using his pace and beating all the defenders from the Cookies to go down and score up the other end. 
Just individual brilliance. What speed from VJ Roach. The first try to AJ Olungia and Roach scoring the second. Just burning the Cock Islands cover defense. Impressive speed from the young fullback. And here, Tepa Lamalili, big man, hard to stop when they use subtle footwork like that. Tepa Lamalili. When Lamalili went over, quick concession scoring these tries, it just felt like Samoa were going to get on a roll on and almost shut the door out on the cookies. But to their credit, the cookies have stayed in it and scored themselves another try. It was a try to Nari Tenomana of the Cook Islands and quickly Jerry Seal responding. And that's his first, the big front row, getting down low, spinning out, getting the ball down. That's one for the big fellas. And Harris goes close for the Cook Islanders, hurting the defensive line. Defenders not being able to get set. And then Nari Tenomana. Gets a second for the cookies. Well taken try. Seeing the space, seeing the gap, and seeing that the defenders weren't getting set in the right spots. Yeah. Made in Seal Falau. Committing three defenders and setting Jerry Seal up for a second try. That point 24 to 12. The conversion missed, and that was half time. Rolling out of the tackle to offload to Jerry Seal for him to pirouette and get the ball down for his second. What vocab from Willie Porching with the pirouette. It's finals day and he's bringing his A game as uh, Samoa in the Cook Islands. Despite the difficult rain to contend with, both teams have showcased a high skill set so far in this match. Tactically adapted. Not exacerbated things. Yeah, and focused a lot better on the ball control and getting up to play the ball whilst there's an element of urgency to play it. There's also a focus to control the ball and get up. And still been some of these plays, the offload from Robarts there. Thomas Harris. Nice to ground. Through an Oteniru and four onto the field. So the Samoan bench will bring a new impact, a new element to the Samoan effort. Now the try scorer, Tenomana. Samoan Cecil. The kick is high into the end goal. Might sit up here at will. And it's picked up by Samoa. Caught yeah. dead by the referee. Oh, the referee's saying that he picked it up and had a foot on the line, I think. Antonio Alcuso with the mistake. And therefore taking the ball dead in goal. So it ends up being a great kick from Sal and Cecil. Look for all money, it was going dead. But as you say the game tactically skillfully the rain affects how they think and how they play but it affects how the ball bounces too so the Cook Islands with a brilliant opportunity in the hands of Cassius Bell they have possession and just like that they don't have possession a knock on no you could see the reaction from LJ Laval he came in and he, he saw the ball had spilled out, he was celebrating something. And the referee and the touchy saw the ball come out. So a lost chance for the cookies. And so will be breathing a sigh of relief after Antonio Okuso ran the ball dead and accidentally, there was no intention about it, and just happened to touch the, the dead ball line as he uh, picked up the ball. But they get position now. You really hope he wasn't intentionally trying to run the ball dead. As Samoa attack now up the middle. Raiden Siofalau handing it over to Alungia. One of the try scorers for Samoa. 
And El Cuso, again, on the attack. This is a good set here for Samoa, over halfway. And Terore takes him over the 40 with another good carry. Samoa. Tatupu at the back. Through the hands to Roach, who puts it down. Disappointing end to the set there. It is a real disappointing set. I'm going to point out a coaching point here that I've noticed a couple of times in this tournament that when players have dropped the ball, they're obviously disappointed. And for a moment, they're worried about their disappointment. And their folk. The reaction needs to be just kill the ball. Get on the ball first. There was a moment in a game earlier in the tournament where somebody dropped the ball. The opposition, I think it was ha happened yesterday, Fiji pick up the ball and he raced 70 metres down the field. you just got to jump on the ball and kill the game. Don't give the opposition any chance to get the ball. And then understanding totally you're disappointed when you, when you knock the ball on, but the rule of thumb for anyone playing rugby league and all you juniors, get on the loose ball, be the first one. It's a great point because on that occasion, VJ Roach did react in disappointment and frustration, but the ball was bobbling and... Cook Islands had been able to pounce on it. Could have been an opportunity for them down the other end. Counter-attack a dangerous situation for Samoa. When they're not set to cover. And now Burling for the Cook Islands as they themselves work their way nicely into Samoan territory. And the rain looks to have subsided a little bit. I don't think it will change too much. The ground is still wet and it still has an effect. And a smart kick. I spoke about putting pressure on. I'm not sure what the referee is. Uh, more celebrating something. Nari Tinomana, who scored that opportunistic try in the first half, just diving straight over the line from dummy half. And there, nice little grubber in behind. Made it difficult for Samoa to collect it. Because he put pressure on in his chase That's and right. forced the error. He just needs to get in the eye line of the person getting the ball. And your focus needs to be solely on the ball when you're getting it. But if you're distracted and part of your focus is on who the defender is, it takes that little bit of concentration away from the ball. And just enough that time to distract the, the receiver and force him to knock it on. Yeah, Colini Collins drawing and passing out to the wing. Brilliant hands there. And over the line, Case Hipkins, Taimai with the try. Well worked from and the Cook Islands. And Case Hipkins, Taimai was the one who scored the try, but it was Keanu Ezekielia with the offload. Down the short side, Collins. Ezekiela, offload, short side. And Samoa punished for their errors again. And just keeping themselves in touch on the scoreboard and keeping themselves in the game, the Cook Islanders. Great try. Wonderful put down. Awareness to catch the ball and just get it over the try line. A key score in the match. Much like a break point in tennis. Who scores first after the break? And on this occasion, Cook Islands, Cook Yairani, score first out of half time. Important conversion here for Cook Yairani. If they can put this over, it'll put them just. Then one score, one converted try. It's Huge. a lovely kick. And with that, it's 24 to 18. We we'll see it again. It's Kalini Collins that starts the raid down the short side, reading the numbers off the scrum, squares up. Forces VJ Roach to come in. And that's where the space was. Julio Tau with the fantastic conversion and Cook Islands 
rather surprisingly are within six points of Samoa here. Burling takes it forward. In the second half, it's been all oh, the cookies. They've had real good control of momentum and position. If Hard this on, Jake Raybart up the field. If that carries on, they'll soon be level on points. Checked in himself into the line. Riley Dean Rivers. Okay, Sean Cook nearly all onto the field in 15. Coming in here at dummy half. And back to Burling. He decides to pass wide to Tinumana. And Raybart's again. The prop opting to kick. And he's kicked it down to Lauval. Yeah, not sure about the kick. It was something out of nothing, and they were losing their way. And a lot of players getting in each other's way there for the cookies. DJ e. Roach smashed in the tackle. I believe that was Frank Fale who came out of the line to make the hit. Sorry, Julio Tau who made the hit there. He was initially thrown off with a fend, but went back at him. Didn't give up in the tackle. They're back up for this again. The cookies, they've got their back up, trying to chase these big hits. Tatupu. Now, Frank Fale with the kick. Brought down nicely by Collins. He was under some real pressure there. And in these conditions... He did really well. Under a whole lot of pressure. There was a Samoan chaser right on top of him. And not only did he take the catch cleanly, he beat him with some footwork and almost got himself an, a break. But he gets a great start for his side. Lovely little dummy. And a break from Nari Tenomana again. Bringing his impact and Ray Bartz offloading well. Back to Tenomana. Nari Tenomana. He's been key in this comeback here for the Cook Islands. Tau dropping it onto the toe. And again, another, another front row trying to kick the ball. Be better off just trying to run and organise a kick through your halfbacks and organise some chases off the back of it. Still so much time left. They don't have to overplay their hand and come up with unconstructed ad-lib plays here, these big fellas for the cookies. A shot there. Antonio Alcuso on the carry, and he's won a penalty. They went high. He just sensed the relief in the Samoan side. They've had no... Good ball. They've had no attack down their end in this half. It's all been the Cook Islands, as I said. Jerry Seal scored two tries, and on that occasion, burying his head as he drives into the defence, and Fale, Frank Fale there, working up the field over... The 40 now, Samoa. Siofalau handing it to Bellamy. And Fruin Oteniru. Good tackle on him by Mariva. Bellamy again. And the offload, a brilliant offload and a brilliant finish. Great work. Is there a flag up? I don't think so. I'm just watching the touch judge. Now they're happy. It's a try for Draven Saul, who scores for Samoa. What a finish in the corner. It was a great finish and a great set from Samoa, just going direct. Don Bellamy carrying a couple of times for Samoa. And then Furin, Furin or Tenedu with the carry back to the middle. You see here, Bellamy offload. Seal, short side, dives. Acrobatically gets the ball down. 
Yeah, smart offload. Three defenders in there. And a great try to seal for Samoa. Acrobatics. Grip. Puts it down. Touch is happy with it. He was in a great position. And just what Samoa needed after that penalty. And having very few goes down this end in this half. And push their lead out again. But still plenty of time. They've got to realise that for the cookies to come back at them. And they've got more than fight and ability to do that. Naoli Sipia taking over the kicking responsibilities for Samoa. And 28 to 18, the try unconverted. A 10 point lead for Samoa. After this brilliant finish from Draven Sol. Getting up in the air, protecting the ball and dotting it down before his feet touched the white paint of the touchline. Great finish. And exactly what Samoa needed after the Cook Islands were bringing themselves well back into the match and within six, this just restores that 10 point lead. And they're more than capable, the Cookies, of getting themselves well and truly back into this game and rescuing it and even trying to win it. They've just got to be patient. As I said, they've had a couple of front rowers trying to come up with some ad lib plays and trying to kick them all. Uh, you get a bit of control, get Thomas Harris to control them again through the middle, direct their big fellas to just trundle up, and they may score themselves just like Jerry Seal's done for Samoa. Breaking them open, Seal Falau. Seal Falau still going. What speed! He's breaking away. Will Colony Collins catch him? No, he won't. Raiden Siofalau with a brilliant break and try. Straight from dummy half. Outstanding play by Raiden Siofalau. And right from the moment he picked up the ball, he had no other plan in his head other than to run. And because he backed himself and rounded around Colony Collins, the chases from the Cook Islanders couldn't get close. And a great try, a great individual piece of dummy half running from Seal Falau. And that 10 point lead goes out to 14. And scoring as quickly as they, as they have done can be demoralizing a real test of character for the Cookies here now after conceding and then going back to back. And Seal Falau gets himself a rest as he comes off now and he's been replaced by Le Mali. And he can come off. Seal Falau pretty happy with his work this morning. It was a superb break, wasn't it? From halfway, the speed he showed to beat that initial cover and then Colini Collins was in a foot race with him and Raiden Siofalau just too quick, scoring the try. It gives Samoa their largest lead of the game. 16 points, the lead. After that try. And it's a fair bit of a lead, and as you said, it's the most that Samoa have had in the game. But they can't get comfortable. They can't get comfortable here. They've still got to focus and concentrate on their ball control and not turning over in areas that the opposition can expose easier than they need to. Heading it up is Bellamy, who's been good but loses his footing as he looked to be into some space there over to Seal. Breaking them open, Jerry Seal, that fend coming into good effect there for Jerry Seal. Lemale back onto the field. He and Siofalau have shared that responsibility at Hooker well. It's a brilliant offload into the hands of Roach. And Samoa are striding out to a big lead now as VJ Roach get a second. And it's just getting away now from the Cook Islanders on the scoreboard and on the enthusiasm levels. They've just got too much running about them. Samoa, they're big fellas. Jerry, 
Jerry Seal carrying the ball out to the right hand side. Coming back, the big man on the edge, Lomali'i, with an offload and his fullback, the speedster. He's already scored one long range try already this morning. VJ Rhodes gets his second long range one, clocking up the K's. And too fast for the D. Tepa Lamalele showing on that occasion his ability to facilitate with the lovely offload there. Signs of a really classy footballer. Yeah, he's had a good game. In the second half he showed how threatening he can be down, down the try line. Some of his runs on the edges. He's a big strong athlete and skillful to boot. In the weather, nice vision. And smart fullback sniffing around those types of players who are going to present the ball and keep it alive. VJ Roach gets the reward for the work of his big man on the inside. Bellamy who bumps off Mareva. Aggression in the carry there from Bellamy. He's been good. And Fruin Otiniru spinning. Good footwork. Caden Fruin Otiniru just dodging defenders on that occasion. They're playing bumper cars almost, rolling out of tackles, taking collisions. Great footwork from Terore, but he eventually knocks it on. So Cook Islands with an opportunity. They're playing some expansive football, keeping the ball alive with offloads as Tao comes off dummy half and knocks it on. Two knock-ons in the space of a tackle. Now for Samoa and the Cook Islands trading mistakes. It's Terore with the play of the ball. Now Hope. Ace Hope from St. Peter's College with the carry. You see how much better it is for Samuel when they just play directly with just a tad bit of width and push around the ball. And once they create momentum, they can start to flood through the defenders in front of them. The referee not happy with the cookie defenders. The amount of time it's taken them to peel away from the tackle. A bit of stoppage in play. Not sure what the touch is saying. The touch has seen something that somebody's done. I'm not sure which player or which team. At 40 to 18, Samoa can feel pretty comfortable. It's just under nine minutes left. A quick tap here into the hands of Saleh Tatubu. Saleh Tatubu. Hard to put down. Strong carry from the big man. Terure opting for the ball and going at him behind Tatuli. And now through an Oteniru, through an Oteniru, still going power! And over the line, Caden through an Oteniru scores yet again for Samoa. His last carry we spoke about playing bumper cars. He was just ricocheting off defenders, keeping his feet balanced, rolling out, still running. That was the case on that try. He just bumped off a couple of defenders. Rolling out, three, four, Five goes at him. Just rolling out to score for Samoa. And this is a real rich period for the, of the game for Samoa. Midway through the second half, they've really asserted their dominance on the cookies and you've got to feel for them. This isn't a, a scoreline that reflects how good the cookies have been. They've had their moments and they've been brave and courageous but Samoa just piling on try after try in this last 10 minutes. Sepia, not far away with 
that attempted conversion. Samoa, well, they've benefited from really a tire and cookie on any side here in this final quarter. A lot of missed tackles. They've given the Samoan attackers time with ball in hand at the line to implement footwork and use their fend. And, and on this occasion, Caden Fruin, Otineru, too strong over the line. That's why fatigue is so hurtful to you. You can't get any ruck control, you can't get any line speed. And against some of these big carriers for Samoa, these smaller cookie defenders need to get numbers. Can't quite commit it to them. When they are, they're getting bumped and thrown about. It's just unfortunate for the cookie lads. Tuli, Tirore, Tatupu. Quickly, Lamale, Rico Lamale stepping, great footwork. Three defenders beaten, Rico Lamale, dummies. Collins tries to wrap him up and does so, but a brilliant run there from Rico Lamale. Tatupu plays dummy half. Tuli now at the line, a kick in behind into a lot of space. Isaka with no one around him can pick it up uncontested and Samoa are playing with some real freedom and creativity as they extend the lead to 48-18 to through the try to Sean Isaka. And Sean Isaka backs another one for Samoa. But it was Rico Lamale who made the break up the middle. He saw from the sideline Raiden Siofolao make his break and score. He wanted to do the same. Unfortunately, it wasn't the case for him. Defenders came, made the stop. Nice kick through. Through an Oteniru was there. But Sean Isaka gets the put down. And there were three players that could have won that race, and they all just pointed to Sean and said, It's all yours. Just the, the Great. timing and the well weighted kick from Tuli. And the recognition of space, and they had the line skittled. Kalini Collins, the fullback who would normally be there, was involved in the tackle before, so he was out of play. Running the ball to the line brings up the winger, so it exaggerates that space. And as you said, they've got to get the touch right. Had to put it on the money. And no better place to put it than in a position for Isaaka just to put it down and take the four-pointer. Lovely kick. Does it have the distance? It does. Brilliant kick there from Sepia, who stepped into the kicking duties. And as he leaves the field, can leave with a successful conversion from out left to his name. 50 to 18, Samoa. They've stepped it up in the second half. After conceding a try, they've scored 26 points unanswered. Rich period here, and Raiden Siofolao comes back onto the field, and Rico Lemali is still on there, so they've got two dangerous dummy half runners. Samoa, two exponents of space, and wins around the ruck on the play the ball. A miscommunication around who would take that one, but Rico Lemali says, I will, and I'll take it forward with an engaging run that defies his size. Rico Lemale. He needs a prop to take it off the back fence when you've got Rico Lemale. He knocked the prop out of the way to carry it, didn't he? All of the Samoan players putting their hand up. Now they're eager to take the line on. This is their last chance and they're making the most of it. That's it. Nice tackle from Riley Dean Rivers. Just gets enough. And as I said earlier in the game, you can use the defend, use the sideline when you're defending as an extra defender, and that's all he did. Just put this arc off balance, touch the line, tackle done. Nobody's in any great rush here. 
Well, at 50 to 18, consolation final is very much decided. Samoa, the better of the two sides here today. It's been this fourth quarter performance. The 26 points they've scored unanswered. Has turned the game on its head and after competing for a large portion of the match, it's the Cook Islands who have the ball but are well behind on the scoreboard. They've been overwhelmed and outmatched by the tidal wave of attack from the Samoan side. And they almost scored at will, Samoa, and it's draining your energy, it's draining your emotions. When you're having to defend, kick off and kick off and kick off. And unfortunately for Cookies, that's been the case today. And every time they scored, you could see Samoa grow in confidence and energy themselves from it. So when Cecil with the kick, Isaka puts a boot to it, much like he did from the kickoff, and wants to kick them on the full. Sean Isaka. But the Cook Islands will have another set to attack with and get a consolation try here in their final match of the tournament and their last chance to play here at the Pacifica Youth Cup in 2024 for Samoa and for their culture and for their families who have turned up and celebrated their performances throughout this tournament. And on the final day, they have put on one heck of a performance as Colini Collins gets a consolation try for Kuki Airani, Colini Collins. And it was the first try scorer of the game who set it all up. Selwyn Cecil showing the ball on the inside, holds the defender up just as he changes balance. The defender knows he's got him, tips it out to Kalini Collins for his big fullback, his big powerful fullback to roll down and score and finish the game on a positive note for the Cookies and a try I thought they deserved something out of this game. They had their moments when they were in control and exposed Samoa's flatness and lack of energy. Unfortunately, winning the Cook Island for the Cook Islanders when Samoa turned on the gas and went into overdrive. They had that real purple patch, scoring try after try, which blew out the scoreline. Julio Tau will have the final say in this match, but it has been all Samoa. No overtime needed in this one. In the final quarter, they have put their stamp on things and finished off their Pacifica Youth Cup. In epic fashion, Tau, a nice conversion that bounces off the upright, Nova. So the final score here in the consolation final in the Premiership, Samoa 50 over Kuki Ayarani 24.